Hello my beautiful bookish friends and welcome back to my channel. So today, as the title says, I have a book haul for you guys. Uh, some of the books in here I don't remember if I hauled or not. I haven't found a, specifically a haul saying that I did. Uh, so if I talked about some of these already, sorry. Um, but I think it was in a vlog. So hopefully uh, if you've already seen these, you know, skip ahead. Uh, if you haven't, great. Uh, check out the vlogs though. Uh, so I have 29 books to talk about today. So let's just get into them. Uh, I don't think anything is super groundbreaking. So first one we got, my mom actually got and picked out upon my recommendation. Um, and it's actually a book that I've been wanting to read and is a good girl's guide to murder. I know I'm late to the party everybody's read this the series is already finished and there's like a new holly jackson series however i haven't um i went through kind of like a love hate relationship with ya mysteries uh, but this does sound very similar to truly devious in the kind of the main character has a podcast and gets obsessed with this case and wants to figure it out and it's very similar to the premise of truly devious so I might give it a go, uh, see if I like it. My mom said it was pretty good. It did drag in the middle, which I think is like a pretty common review of the book, but overall it's good. So we'll see how I feel about it. And I have a couple book of the month picks. I'm just going in a random order. These are not specific. Um, I think I got these ones in June. I got She Started It, which is, I'm not really sure. I know it's a thriller uh I really truly don't know what it's about I know there's a party and I think it turns into like either a murder mystery or some sort of game or like it's revealed like it's a revenge plot kind of thing so we're gonna give it a go I have I I truly know nothing about this book it just the quick little blip on book of the month sounded good and the other one I got is Love Theoretically. This is Allie Hazelwood's third book with Book of the Month. And I wanted to get it so it would match my love on the brain and the love hypothesis. I read Loath to Love You. Um, I'm just obsessed with Allie Hazelwood, her Steminist writing, and these love stories. I think they're amazing. I know some people say that they're all the same. I don't think they are. I mean, they're similar, but who cares? As a romance reader, you find tropes, you love them, you hang on to them. Am I right? So, next book I got is actually because I had already listened to the audiobook, watched the first season of the show, I'm into the second season of the show now, and that is Outlander. I have already read this. I fell in love with it. Like everybody else, I love Jamie Fraser. Uh, and it makes me want to go to Scotland and just touch all the stones and see what happens. Um, this is a historical fiction romance dealing with the Scottish Highlanders, uh, not the cows, the people, and uh, how, you know, the British kind of wipe them out and how Claire being there and knowing the history of the country, she kind of helps and changes uh, history. So it's, I mean, it's long, it's thick, it's a long read. It's not super big print. However, it is totally worth it. Um, and I'm hoping, I'm, I think I'm going to start the next book soon. Um, because I'm to the point in the second season where this book is finished and starting to get into the second book. So I definitely want to uh, read that. Next, I got three books, two of which I have already read, but I wanted physically because I read them in ebook form. And that is L. Kennedy's Briar U series, the very first three, The Deal, The Mistake, and The Score. Now I haven't read The Score, but I have read the deal and the mistake. The deal I think has inspired many a fan fiction just given on when this came out versus when I was in my Wattpad era. Um, and the mistake I read and enjoyed but not as much as the deal. Um, but I love them collectively. I love how she wrote this universe with this 
is a hockey romance. They're all hockey romances going on at this school. Um, this one is kind of a second chance romance. Enemies to lovers, fake dating, family drama, goodness. Just all the, the college drama that you could want. Um, this one's a little different. And the score, I only know that this is about the guy in the first two books that is like always hooking up with people and I think basically he like meets the one girl that tells him no and he becomes obsessed with her but not in like a haunting Adeline way in like a I need to date her without stalking her way. Uh, and then I did get a physical copy of Moonshot by Alessandra Torre. This is another sports romance. It's a baseball romance but is a suspense romance because there are two people telling the story here there are some tropes that I'm not a super big fan of in this um but they are dealt with quickly so I can make it through this book uh I remember I said a while ago when I initially uh read this book that I would not buy it physically and I 100% changed my mind uh because I can do that so uh there's a lot of romances from this author in the back. Uh, she has other suspense romances as well, but this is the uh, baseball suspense romance all about a girl who basically she falls in love with a baseball player and she is, I want to say, one of the coach's daughters. And she falls for the like young rookie. They end up getting separated just like they break up and she ends up with somebody else and they kind of get back together so there's a lot that goes on in this book um but yeah it's I think it's on Kindle Unlimited if you want to read it and my mom also got The Naturals which is Jennifer Lynn Barnes series um these all just got new covers but she really really liked this one I love the inheritance games and want to read more Jennifer Lynn Barnes so we picked this up. Olivia Reza Latte talked about this and said it is great. And it's about cold cases and stuff. My mom really only reads thriller and mystery. So I get a lot of good ones from her. Uh, next, let's talk about some of the ones I got when I was out of town and ended up getting uh, a bunch of stuff at Barnes & Noble. So I got Unfortunately Yours by Miss Tessa Bailey. This is the next one after the Secretly Yours. Uh, this is the second one in the duology. This is the sister of the winery owner in the first book and a guy who is just opening his winery. I think they end up getting, it's like a marriage of convenience and enemies to lovers. Not really sure how this one plays out. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it yet. Uh, so I'm going kind of blind, but it is Tessa Bailey, so I will probably love it. Next, we have one, again, I know nothing about. I just know it's about Medusa, and since I got my Medusa tattoo, I feel like I should give it a go. Uh, this is called Stone Blind, and it is... I know, like, the tag is they will fear you and flee you and call you a monster. Uh, and just talks about... Medusa is the youngest of the Gorgon sisters and how she has to grow up unexpectedly and basically just a mythology retelling but I was very intrigued by the cover and um, I'm very intrigued by the mythos around Medusa and all the different versions of her story. Then I did get two new graphic novels. Uh, these are in the DC YA graphic novel line I got uh Tempest Tossed this is a Wonder Woman one I think it's just kind of telling her story of being young and becoming Wonder Woman and then I got Wonderful Women of the World which is a anthology kind of bind up of stories of different women who are superheroes in their own right even though they don't have superpowers but um kind of exemplifying some of the principles that Wonder Woman, the character, exemplifies. Uh, then I got my first Alexis Hall novel. I know that she's written quite a few books that I think I would enjoy, um, but this is Mortal Follies. This is a fantasy romance. Uh, it's also historical. It's in 1814. 
and it's a young noble woman must pair up with an alleged witch to ward off the curse in the irresistible sapphic romance from the best-selling author of boyfriend material. So it does have LGBTQIA plus representation in here. A lot of their books do. Uh, and yeah, that's all I really know about it. It sounded good. Sounded like something I would enjoy. So I threw it in my basket. Uh, another one that my friend and I actually each got a copy is Anatomy. This is, it says Anatomy, a love story. It sounds like Stalking Jack the Ripper-esque um, with the way the partnership kind of works out. It says a gothic tale full of mystery and romance. So I'm very into this goth kind of aesthetic right now with my books. I want to read a lot of them. I am I am in a romance like a whirlwind. That's all I want to read right now, uh, which isn't different really um but sometimes I go through these stages where all I read is thriller right now it's just reading authors that I know stuff that I like um I'm doing a vlog on it right now actually and you know kind of getting through some of uh, some of these books if you notice a lot more are pushed back than they used to be that means they've been read so I'm motoring through my physical TBR uh, this next one is King of Wrath, which is book one in the Kings of Sin series by Anna Huang and, or sorry, Huang. And I have not read Twisted, the Twisted Love, Twisted Games series, uh, but I'm going to give this a try. Some people say this series is better. I'm sure I will like both, uh, but this one just intrigued me off the bat that, um, it's like billionaire royalty situation. I don't know. It sounded good. So I'm giving her work a try. And then I just finished The Bodyguard last night. Uh, and I actually got this before I even read The Bodyguard. Uh, but it's Hello Stranger by Catherine Center. I don't know who this is about. I don't think it's in the same series as the bodyguard even though the covers are similar I think this is just her new style of cover so because she had these her other series have this kind of like paper floral um motif and now these have florals but are like illustrated so I may give this a try see if I like it I like Catherine Center's writing quite a bit um and yeah, I have the, there's a cat down here on the floor who is begging for my attention. She's been sitting here, so I'm just rubbing her belly. The last stack here uh, is mostly romance. Shocking, I know. I just have such a long list of books I want to get and want to buy. I actually went through all the Instagram posts I had saved, all the TikToks I had saved, and found which ones were available at the library, and found which ones aren't, and kind of met in the middle. Uh, but there's a new Disney book series coming in is called A Dark Ascension. I think it's gonna be about villains. This is called The Wicked Ones. It is about stepsisters from Cinderella um, and it's about them competing with each other for the throne. I think that'll be a fun take. I love a good villain retelling. Uh, I got Lisa Jewell's new release. This is, none of this is true. I think it's a unreliable narrator situation. Um, yeah, there's a famous podcaster interviews a stranger promising to divulge the story of a lifetime. Um, and I think they kind of find out that maybe some of what they're saying isn't so reliable and maybe some of it is. And what is more unnerving is more of the question. I finally picked up Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I love this writing team. I read the Unhoneymooners and the Honey Don't List. And I wanted to explore more of their works, so I decided to get this one. I've heard that it's friends to lovers. Um, and I want to just read more Christina Lauren's work. So we're going to see how I feel about that. I heard that that one's like a make you cry book as well. So I haven't read a lot of those lately. I got some witchy reads here. I got The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. I've seen this one all over on TikTok and Instagram and wanted to pick it up. Uh, it's supposed to be warm and uplifting about an isolated witch 
who decides to like embrace her family and become less isolated. And then you have Back in a Spell, which is Lana Harper. I did not realize that this is in a series of books, so I am going to have to wait till I get the other ones, uh, but I really just like the cover. Uh, but I need to read Payback's a Witch first. And there's one that's like a curse of something that is in this series, so I want to make sure I read those so I don't spoil anything. This one I really thought would be interesting. I, I've been very interested in like road trip romance stories and this is called You with a View. It's about a girl whose grandmother dies and she's unemployed and she's living with her parents and she decides that uh, she is going to follow the love story of her grandmother that her grandmother never got to like live out. She finds out the grandson is actually like her high school rival uh, and they're going to complete this trip together. So we're going to we're gonna see how this goes. Then I did pick up a thriller I've been meaning to get. I have a lot of Riley Sager I haven't read. I haven't read The House Across the Lake or Lock Every Door, but I did read Home Before Dark, so I did pick up Final Girls uh, to give it a shot. I like the concept. I love the idea of like, if I were to ever act, which I don't think will ever really happen, it's not an avenue I'm exploring, um, but I would want to be in a horror movie and be a final girl because how awesome would that be? Um, so yeah, I just want to explore the idea of, you know, she came back alone. She's the only survivor and now someone's, someone's coming after her and she's not the only final girl. Um, and then I did pick up the new Serena Valentino. This is Fire and Fate. So it's the 10th book in her villain series. This is about Hades and the Fates. It's a very short little read. Most of them are. Uh, and then my mom picked out these two books. She enjoyed them. I know nothing about them. There's Alias Emma and City of Dark Corners, which I think she said this one's like a Prohibition era book. I did go on Pango and get three books with my Pango books. I got the next two in the From Blood and Ash series. So I got The War of Two Queens, which is so thick. And a soul of ash and blood. Again, super thick. Don't really know when I'll get to these. Not really like super... It's not my priority. But I have them for when it becomes one. And the very last book is The Thursday Murder Club. I got this because it sounded like a really cute option. With these little old people in the retirement home. Deciding that they are going to... Uh, take their love of true crime and see what they can do with it. So that's what I picked up. 29 books. Oh, I also got Stormbreaker, which is part of the Seafire, um, like steampunk pirate series on audio. And I got the next book in The Strange Case of the Alchemist Daughter series. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, it's like the, the European Guide for Travel for Monstrous Women, I think. It's something like that. Uh, so I'm gonna give that one a reread and then read that one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what books you got, if you guys took part in the uh, Barnes & Noble book haul sale, and I will see you in the next one.